Hello everyone and welcome to another Rummage Sale and Thrift Store Finds video for the week of uh, October 12th through the 17th. Um, it's going to be a short video. I did not find much this week. Goodwill was utterly disappointing. I only found two things there. Normally I find more than that. Um, found a couple things at St. Vinny's and then I went to three sales today. One that was all guys stuff like even guy stuff I don't use so um but dad did pick up a lot of two like screws and that from that sale so it wasn't a waste of drive but all of them were we put 51 miles on the car for three sales that's how sad it was okay so I'll start with what I got at St. Vinny's in Marquette I picked up this Mickey Mouse shirt kind of wish it didn't say Florida on it but it's fun neon. I'll probably end up keeping it. It's my size. And then I got for a buck four envelopes. So a quarter piece. Not bad. I use these for mailing non-breakable things. Um, oftentimes jewelry in a box in the bag. Because if you have a jewelry box that big, you can't fit the label on it for mailing. So you kind of need that much space for the label. These look slightly bigger than 9 by 6 So they're probably like... 10 by 8 or something like that. Oh, 7.5 by 10.5, but they'll still work. Goodwill. Uh, I paid $1.09 at Goodwill because I had a 20% off expiring in 12 hours, so I might as well use it even though I found two things. So I found this cute World Wildlife Federation by Kurt Adler uh, Christmas ornament, I guess it's supposed to be of a penguin because there's a hook, large hook on here. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look like that's holding it together. It just looks like I'm ripped off a different price tag. But, um, and then this is a little rough, but it was very cute. It's by Recycled Paper Products, all rights reserved. And it's a Boynton artwork. And it's uh, Don't Let the Turkeys Get You Down. And there's this elephant being very sad and depressed. This is the closest thing to Thanksgiving I found all summer, I swear. And then today, went to one sale, I picked up three items. I would have gotten five, but two items were literally frozen to the table. Like, frozen. She must have put them out, like, last night. I never brought them in, and the dew formed. And then we were having frost this morning. And literally, there's a beautiful glass bird, and I could not get it off the table. I would have had to have stood there for three hours to get it. But I picked this up for a quarter. It's a little, like, Southwest metal on soap on limestone piece. Um, I, I have one very similar to this. I'm going to compare them. Um, but I might sell one of them because I know I already have a hand one, but it's based on pictographs. So grab that for a quarter. Grabbed this for a quarter. Going to have to really carefully peel that to not get the paint, I guess. Did they seal it well? Yes. Um, it's not marked Mexico, but it is a rich red which makes me suspect it is from, not Tanala, but the other one. Um, they use more red clay. Um, I had a cat last year, I, like a taller cat that had like a village painted on it um, that had very similar clay to it. So I'll look that up. But for a quarter, I, I rescued the kitty cat. And then for a quarter... No, for 50 cents, I rescued this Red Mills manufacturing um, thing. I actually still have my huge duck, but I think people aren't buying the duck because it's so huge they don't want to pay the shipping on it. But this one's smaller and would fit in like a 6x6 six six box. And I've never had an armadillo before, but um, this company uh, basically uses resin and crushed pecans to make their thing. So I don't know if you were allergic to pecans if this couldn't even be in your house. But I put nut allergy warnings on anything that may contain nuts. Anyway, right in the listing, I also have like a couple plush toys I listed that are older that are not filled, not shell filled. So I put an allergy warning on those too. But I thought he was cute. <laughs> and then we drove all the way back to this one sale and it was way back there. And the first thing I found was this cute little creamer and sugar set for $3.00. And it is marked Lefton, and there are no chips or anything. 
So I'm hoping to get some money back on that. And then I've actually found two uranium glass kind of things. Um, there was a little cute playing card there, but like every time I tried to pick it up, it almost cut me because some of the edging was majorly chipped. So I left that behind. But, but this little ashtray, which would have originally come with a cool lighter here made out of slate glass as well. There's a space for a lighter, a round lighter. It is filthy right now, but it glows so nice. I don't know if I can pick it up on the back easier, but it just lights. Um, but it's this really pretty slate glass. I'm probably going to end up keeping this. There's some scarring on it. There's no chips or anything, but I don't have anything like this in my uranium collection. I, this is my first slate glass mine. So I'll, she only charged me a dollar. There was no, no price on it. I was just really sad the playing the little playing cards like that size but like if it was in good condition it would have been like a 25 30 dollar playing card um because a set of four of them goes for like 200 bucks um but it was all it was it was like half of this edge was all gone kind of thing Ooh, that has a sharp mold cut in there it's not a chip even it's it's literally the mold mark is sharp wow i have to be careful with that when i'm cleaning it um, but that is my so small haul. It's ridiculous week. Um, I'm afraid they probably are going to be like that for a while unless Goodwill restocks. Goodwill was really like trying to reorganize. So they had the shelves like half full and what they had on the shelves, most of the things were broke in some way. And I was getting really mad as I went through, I was like, okay, what's the point of taking half the stuff out the shelf and leaving all the trash on the shelf? You might as well take the trash and throw it away. You know, like when, when things have lost their head and their head is taped on, you probably shouldn't try to sell that. Um, so I will leave my links for my Etsy and my eBay trash gear to treasure stores down below. Thanks for watching.